and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review the Falcon Eagle Eye Mountain Expedition G.I. Joe figure. Now, this is a reproduction of the Eagle Eye figures made back in the day, and I've always wanted one, but I didn't want to have to, you know, get an old one and try to maybe have them repaired or anything like that. I wanted them brand new, so we have a brand new reproduction. So let's take a closer look at this figure. This is the shipper for the Falcon Eagle Eye Mountain Expedition G.I. Joe, or as it says here, as it was from Brazil, Falcon XP. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it. I don't want to say it all wrong because I'm going to. So I'm going to get my blade here and see if we can get this open. I'm hoping I don't damage the box in doing so. Let's see. Maybe if I do it here and then maybe do this on the side here. All right, that looks like that was some progress made. So I'm going to just start tearing from up here. Hmm, looks like I'm going to need more of that blade. All right, let's put it across. See if that helps. Yes, it helps. All right, very cool. Ooh, this box is looking so cool and vintage. Let's see. Ooh, what we got here absolutely awesome as you can see it has that even that 1958 on there very very cool let's look at this box i'm actually going to pull back i'm just so excited this is absolutely amazing looking and let's see the side of the box here and oh look it looks like it's got some little eye action here for the eagle eyes it looks like with the box, it looks like it's kind of in there. I don't know how that's going to move. Maybe when I open the box later, but very cool. And let's see, actually the top of the box looks like it was really interesting too. This is absolutely amazing. I'm so, oh, look at the back of here. And it's got some other things here. I don't understand all what it says, but with the pictures and everything, it looks really cool if you want to pause the video and see what that says maybe you can interpret that but i am going to get to opening this box and i'm not quite sure how it opens it looks like i see some tape up here so i'm going to get my blade again and cut that and see that yeah easy to open very cool and let's see open this here so I can reach in here and pull out the figure. Look at the artwork, though. He is really very, very handsome. Oh, and then, of course, it's got the eyes thing. Very cool. But let's look at the actual figure that we have here. And he is super cool. Look at those eyes. Oh, I'm just loving how he's just giving that kind of side eye look as you can see it comes with this rope and also this red hoodie set that's what it's called i just don't see the hood yet but maybe it's back there and also this pickaxe so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to remove him from the liner so that we could take a closer look at him his eagle eyes and also his accessories this is a close-up of the falcon eagle eye mountain expedition gi joe and his skin tone is listed as black. And as you can see, there's the little lever in the back. I'm just gonna pull his shirt down just a little bit. And you can see the lever that's sticking out. That's the mechanism that you use in order to move his eyes back and forth. And you can see it's actually very discreet in the back. So if you're taking pictures and stuff like that, it's not really going to stand out a lot with his hair. Very cool. And of course, he's got that scar there. And of course, look at those eyes, very cool. Now I'm gonna use the mechanism just to kind of try to work his eyes up. There we go. So as you can see, you can kind of make them stare there or to the side. So you can kind of pose them and stop the eyes where you want them to go. So this is gonna be so much fun to play with, especially like for pictures and posing. 
I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal. I would love to see more figures and dolls with mechanisms like this. I know maybe some people might think it's actually kind of creepy, but I think it is super cool. So I'm going to pull back so that you can see. It comes on the G.I. Joe type of body. also comes with this, what they call a red hoodie, but I don't see a hoodie. It looks more like a red track suit or red jumpsuit or something like that. He does have the grip hands there and he also has these this pair of shoes here. I guess they're supposed to be like climbing shoes but as you can see his feet are quite large so his feet are not this shoe he's not gonna be able to fit into like 10 shoes really comfortably or I'm not sure if how he would do with maybe like more high-end fashion doll shoes but then again this is not really a high-end fashion doll so I don't know about changing out the shoes if you wanted to do that you see he's got the little emblem there on his shirt and of course the stripes there but he also does come with a couple of accessories I'd like to show you these are the accessories that come with Falcon Eagle Eye Mountain Expedition G.I. Joe and it's really quite simple he comes with this rope here and he also comes with this pickaxe and I'm just going to go in so that you can see the detail of the pickaxe. It's quite long, very cool, nice detail. Let's welcome our panel. First we have famous club and resort owner Francisco Leone. Next we have fashion icon and queen of Mattel Barbie. And last but never least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. So before we speak to our panel, let's do a 360 of Falcon Eagle Eye Mountain Expedition G.I. Joe. One of the first things you might notice about Joe is that he is standing on his own. He does not come with a display stand, but he is capable of standing on his own, which I think is very cool. He does not fit on Integrity Toys uh, doll stands as he is way too short. His little legs cannot fit. So I'm gonna go in, we can see, I have him staring straight forward just so that he wasn't looking all weird, although I will be playing with his eyes in all directions. I did want you to see a close up of the little mechanism that is behind his head. Very easy to use and very accessible. And of course, look at that face. Oh, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go down so you can see some of the details on the outfit. I will say the material is a very thick material. It's not a thinly made material, nice quality. And you can see also the boots, which are, you know, kind of plasticky, but hey, they work in this case. And you can also see his little rubbery grip hands as well. And I like that they are articulated and move around. Also, the outfit does come, on, at least the top of the outfit comes on and off with the Velcro in the back. And, and of course, with his pants, they just pull on and off without any fuss or muss. And that is the 360 of Falcon Eagle Eye Mountain Expedition G.I. Joe. All right, panel, I would like to get your thoughts on Falcon Eagle Eye Mountain Expedition G.I. Joe. And Francisco, I'm gonna start with you and I see that you have a note for me. And you say, I caught him eagle-eyeing me in the restroom backstage. <laughs> okay, Francisco, I'm not sure if you're starting rumors or not, but I'm sure Don Yazar will be contacting you really soon. <laughs> and Barbie, I see that you have a note for me. And you say, the rumors about me and Joe are untrue. <laughs> I have a feeling everybody's getting a call from Tanya Zar. <laughs> and Alyssa, I see that you have a note for me. And you say, 
He's adorable, but you wasted my, I mean, our money. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> All right, Joe. Well, uh, welcome to Edmonton, and uh, thank you, panel. So I am so excited about the Falcon Eagle Eye Mountain Expedition G.I. Joe figure with these little eye things. I mean, that is just so cool. And he's just, like I said, the outfit is nice quality. He's got the same G.I. Joe articulation and body. It's all the same, nothing new or anything like that, which is fine. Of course, he is a little bit shorter than other figures, but then again, that's actually maybe what makes him special aside from these little eye things. So anyway, I really like him a lot and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with him. So if you like this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's so I know that you like my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure that you do that today because then you'll get notified of when I come up with new videos like this one. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.